Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Abdurrahman Muhammad Alam, going to perform a cataract surgery in this white intumescent cataract. This patient is mentally retarded and I am doing the surgery in general anesthesia. Here I already have stained the anterior capsule with blue rex for enhanced visualization during construction of capsulorexis. Inside the anterior capsule about 2.5 mm and raise a flap. Then guide the flap in a centripetal manner and tear the capsulorexis. Always lay the flap flat on the anterior capsule. Slowly by slowly I am guiding the flap and constructing the capsulorexis. Here there is intumescent nature of the cortex. There is soft cortical matter underneath the capsule which is making it difficult for me to guide the rexus margin with the cystitome. It is better to switch cystitome with forcep, capsulorexis forcep and continue with the capsulorexis. In doing so I was able to create a Continuous curvilinear capsular axis of 5 mm. Take out some OVD from the anterior chamber and perform hydrodissection. Now fill the anterior chamber with OVD and rotate the nucleus to confirm successful hydrodissection. Now commence with phacoemulsification. For phacoemulsification, I am using Centurion machine to help me emulsify this uh, white cataract. I am performing a direct vertical chop in this soft cataract. Yes, I have successfully chopped a quadrant. Now rotate and chop another quadrant. Yes, now chop this heminucleus. Now I have four quadrants which can be easily removed with this FACO handpiece. Be careful while removing the uh, cataract quadrant from the capsule because the FACO handpiece may e easily cross through the quadrant and cause PCT in the posterior capsule. While removing the last piece, go to epinucleus mode where the vacuum aspiration flow rate and the power is reduced. After removal of the last piece, fill the entry chamber with OVD and make a second side port because in this case I will be using by manual handpiece to remove the cortex. I'm finding difficulty in removing the cortex because in white intumescent cataract, most of the time there is thin adherent cortex which stick to the posterior capsule and does not want to be aspirated or be loosened with rubbing but with persistent dedication and patience you can remove this adherent cortex I switched to red illumination for better visualization of the cortex. Now I'm finding it easier to remove the cortex from the posterior capsule.
After removal of the cortex, I'm injecting OVD. I increased the incision size from 2.4 to 2.8, which will help me in intraocular lens implantation with this cartridge. Now I'm loading the intraocular lens in this Monarch in cartridge. Care should be taken while closing the cartridge that you do not catch hold of the haptics. See if the intraocular lens moves freely through the nozzle of the injector. Now stabilize the eye with the help of a spatula. The spatula is placed through the side port to help hold the eye, then inject the eye oil through the main port. Care should be taken that the leading haptic enters into the capsular bag, then dial the tailing haptic inside the PC bag. Now remove the OVD from the anterior chamber and behind the intraocular lens. After removal of the OBD, perform stromal hydration of the side port and the main port. Inject intracameral antibiotic. Then inject subconjunctival dexamethasone and the case is completed. Thank you. Hope this video was helpful in developing your surgical skills.